Hi guys, well the next project for the pirate van is putting in a TV. Yes, I want a big flat screen TV. Actually, we're very restricted to size. Uh, for example, something like this uh, would just about take up the whole length or width of the van. So that's not going to go in. And uh, actually there's not a lot around in the way of small TVs now. Just everything, everything you see is big, huge TVs everywhere. It's not that easy actually to find a little one. Uh, but I've got this one here I found. It's a 24 inch, uh, which will sort of fit in the cavity or the area that I have uh, for that side window. It's going to go up against the side window at the back, so I think that would probably fit in there quite nicely. Also, we need a bracket to mount it onto a um, onto the wall or a wooden bracket that I'm going to build. So today I'll work on uh, building a base for this bracket and uh, then we'll put the, the TV in place. And uh, how I'm going to set it up is my mobile phone will connect to the TV so I can watch YouTube and videos via Wi-Fi and the internet uh, through my phone and onto the TV. Uh, this I think is about the biggest I can possibly go uh, in the small area that I have in the back of the van. Right, let's get started. Okay, now this is the space that I have to put the TV in just against this window in here. Now I probably can get a bigger TV than a 24 to fit there, but it will take up a bigger space. It won't fit inside the cavity and it will take up room and of, of course uh, space uh, space is very important in a small van so where you can save it you save it okay so I've got it all out and uh, uh, there's all the plugs and jacks so I can plug my phone into there and I can either use Wi-Fi or I can use the data on my phone if I'm somewhere where there's no Wi-Fi so I'm going to get this bracket attached to there and think of figure out some kind of jig or wall mounting so I can keep this up against the wall or the window. Uh, not a lot of room to work in here. It could sit about there, or I could put it in a bracket. Right, well there's our bracket to go on the wall like that. As you can see, it's going to be mounted on the wall really, really secure. Last thing you want is a TV bouncing around the back as you're driving. So I've got three wall brackets onto there. Six screws will go into here. So it will be really stable and really strong. And the TV will just click onto this bracket here. So I actually ended up staining it so that it matches the the wall unit even though you won't see it I just think it's a nice idea to have everything done and finished off properly uh, now it's just a matter of putting the TV onto this bracket and tightening it up with the screws from underneath okay if there's anyone out there thinking of setting up um, a TV uh, like I am doing that will run through your phone via Wi-Fi this is what you need you need a cord that goes into the HDMI and it comes out and it goes into the end of one of these fittings here HDMI goes into there and this end goes into your smartphone so then everything on your smartphone will appear on the big screen here rather than squinting and looking at a little wee screen at night watching a movie uh, put this into your phone and everything on your phone whether it be internet uh, YouTube or, or a movie it will all come through this monitor here and uh, just having that big screen to to watch uh, watch a movie is just great so much better than looking at a little smartphone screen a good idea of course is to connect the phone up to the TV and check it all out before you mount the TV on the wall so there we are I've got the, uh, the Kiwi van man there and there we go I can uh, go camping and watch Kiwi van movies all night long until my heart's content uh, you should be doing the same actually so that's how I fit TV and uh, Wi-Fi into my my basic little camping van uh, so yeah it works well
Okay, I hope you enjoyed that short video, folks. This is the Cable Guy, signing out.